My name is Spencer Kaufman. Thank you for watching the Deception Tips videos. They're all about teaching you how to read people and detect deception so that you will be able to tell if someone is lying to you. Today we are going to talk about a cool tip of suggesting certain answers and getting people to admit to things by giving them something to work with. It's a little tactic that you can use to catch people in their lie. It's something that you can bring about once you already suspect them, once you've asked a few other questions and maybe you have noticed some certain deceptive behaviors that they have exhibited and you're wondering whether or not they are telling the truth or are not telling the truth and you need that little extra thing to convince yourself or to prove whether or not they are being deceptive. So here it is. This is deception tip number 11. Liars will seize any opportunity to be believed. Therefore, it is very likely that the liar will accept lies told by the target, even if they may be incriminating. So this is important because if the liar really wants to be believed, which they do, all liars want to be believed, or they wouldn't be telling a lie. They would be telling the truth. Now, when they want to be believed, sometimes that urge is so strong that if the target, which is the person being lied to, if they start suggesting things such as adding different elements to the story or giving them material to work with, the liar may seize that and hang on to it. They'll latch on to that information and run with it. If that is the case, the target can be certain that the liar is lying because they know that that information is false. It's like planting a seed. They give them a little false seed to work with. If the liar starts working with it, now they can be certain. Well, I know they're lying because I gave them some false information and they're telling it like it's part of their story. Now, that's the one side of it, that they can use that information and f enhance their lie and then the target obviously knows that it's false. So it's pretty much a drop in the bucket. It's a dead sign that they are lying because you've handed them something that you know is false and they've started using it, that proves your point. Now the other side of this is something that the target could start suggesting different information and it might be incriminating. So like littler things. So if you're trying to get someone to fess up to a, let's just say a greater crime, whether or not you are trying to get people to fess up to crime is something, but something greater with a greater consequence or a greater perceived consequence, then you might suggest littler things as a part of their story like, oh yeah, and you trespassed during that or, or uh, you left the door open or something like that. You'd use little things that are seemingly insignificant without consequence and then they might say yes and add to them to corroborate their story. So if they said, yeah, did you go over to so-and-so's house and mow the lawn last week? Yep, yep, I did. And you know they might be lying and you say, oh, because you, the door might have been open. Oh yeah, uh, I must have forgot to lock the door. And you know that, well, they never went over there because the door was locked. And now you just, they incriminated themselves by admitting to something that was seemingly insignificant, but is still something that isn't good. But they admitted to that and they took part of your suggestion, which is part of the story that you know is false, and started using it. So that's two things that the liar has incorporated because they thought that the target believed them. So this is very important. Even if the target doesn't believe what the liar is saying, the perceived element of belief will go a long way in getting the liar to admit to something or to run with a story that the target knows to be false. They seize any opportunity to be believed and if the target is showing any signs of belief by say, you know, saying certain things or adding to their story or saying, oh yeah, and then what did you do? Kind of encouraging them or building them up in that lie, then they will continue to talk because they think that they are being believed and they will start to loosen up, which means more signs of deception will come out. If this is your first time watching these videos, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Feel free to comment on them with any questions you may have. In addition, if you'd like some more information, we've got books, podcasts, ebooks, blog posts, all available on spencercoffman.com that are dedicated to teaching you how to read people and detect deception so that you will know exactly what everybody is saying. Until next time.